everybody and welcome back to the Retro Union Collectors channel today. And we are doing the transformation guide on Legacy Evolution Tarn. And this is one of the best figures I've handled in a long, long time. There's like virtually no kibble on this guy at all. No hollow spots, no nothing. And he's pretty big for a Voyager class figure, but he folds down nice and compact for vehicle mode. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. So to get from robot mode to vehicle mode, we can go ahead and start by taking his fusion cannons off, as well as this little piece on his back. And just set those aside for now. And then from here, where I like to start is I just kind of come up under this chest plate and just kind of pop it up, just like that. And then come back here and fold the guns down and do be careful because this is a translucent plastic piece so don't put too much force on it but just kind of pop it out there and then just hinge it down about right there and spin it around and then I fold it back like that once you get here you want to take it might be easier to show on the back you want to take the treads and just and let's see just slide them out like that and then you kind of want to play some shifting maneuvers here around this and this. Get that to focus. Because you need to kind of you know, make sure it's all pulled out. And you need to kind of spin this entire chunk here back like this. And while you're doing that, once you get it to about this point, you can go ahead and fold the head down into here. Right down into there. Then you can kind of pull this forward a little bit more and get the arms all the way until they're about flat with the rest of the body here. You can then, using this little gray slot right there, you can kind of just, there is a opening right there that you can kind of just wedge that into. And then you can take this section here, and if you notice, there's a little pink tab right there that will go into that little hole right there. So I'm just gonna hinge this back, tab that in right there. And this is where it gets a little bit fiddly. So you want to kind of rotate the arms down on both sides. Make sure this all stays together here. And then you want to take this section and rotate it all the way to the back. You can then take this here and open this up and fold this down to about right there. Then you can take the arm, rotate it this way. Actually this way, my bad. And then hinge it like that. And that will allow you to close the rest of this down right here and just kind of close that up like that and then rotate the fist this way just to kind of give her a little bit of a cleaner look and I'll show you that again because it's a little bit confusing so take this spin it to the back take this open that up hinge it to about right here spin the arm this way Hinge it in like that, and then close this up. And there is actually a little tab right here that will kind of just go into that rectangular hole there. Kind of just hold that in there. And then spin the fist this way. So kind of a lot to do all at once there. But then you want to take the legs, clip them together, and hinge the feet down and then you can kind of bend it a little bit here bend the legs here and there is a knee joint here as well as a joint at the bottom of this gray part so bend it down and then kind of click it the rest of the way make sure this all stays tied together and these two purple like H looking things will go into these two dark purple slots here so 
Make sure that stays tied together. You're gonna wanna kinda hinge this back like this and then peg that all together up there. Once you have that done, you wanna use this gray tab. We'll go into that slot there. And at the same time, this purple tab will go into this dark purple slot right there. So you kind of just wiggle this up, tab that in right there. It's almost easier to kind of, it's kind of tough to show. You almost want to hook that in there and then slide this part in. So kind of hook this into there and then wiggle that tab in there. Like that. Then just make sure this all stays straight here. And then straighten everything up. Then you can take these pieces. This, we'll just use these two gray tabs and go right there. That'll kind of lock the legs together a little bit more too. And then take his two cannons. And you can use either one of these two holes. Just peg those in there. And that is <clears throat> Tarn in his tank mode. Very cool. Definitely compacts in to be a lot smaller feeling in tank mode than it is in robot mode. Pretty cool. Now to get from tank mode back to robot mode, you can just separate this whole piece and you can leave these on or you can separate them. I choose to separate them, set those aside. And it is a fair bit easier going this way. So you kind of just grab the legs, fold them back like this. I untab the arms here and then fold them just kind of down out of the way. And then you want to pop those together down in here. You can then pop the feet down and split the legs apart. And then up here, you want to pop this out, kind of hinge it back to straight like that. Bring the guns down to this side and spin this up. Then you kind of want to take your thumb and just kind of push the head out a little bit and bring this section. Okay, not yet. <laughs> you want to rotate these sections back just a little bit. And then as you're doing that, so you kind of want to do all this at once. You kind of got to just hinge this whole section up while bringing this down, while bringing the head up. So kind of just mess with it until you get it and kind of get the arms off to the side for now. So once you get pretty much here, you want to push these sections on, if you see that, push these in and then push this chest piece in Make sure the head is all the way kind of tabbed down into here. And then using these two pink tabs, they will go into these slots on the back of the treads here. Just like that. And then on the arms, <clears throat> you want to kind of just disconnect them here. And then take this section here fold this up and that tab will just go into that slot just like that close that up then rotate the arm forward Oop. do that on both sides here so just kind of pull this out fold this up tab it up there and close that and then you can kind of do the final touches here. So just take this purple section and rotate it to the other side of the arm and straighten the fists. 
And that is it. You can then straighten them all up. I like to just kind of put this on his back just for storage. And then you can put the cannons on this, but I choose to put the cannons on his arms here. And that is it. I hope that made sense. I hope that helped you out if you were having troubles with this. If it did, let me know with a like, comment, and subscribe. All that fun stuff. And if you want to check me out on Patreon, that will be down in the description. There's a link down there. Click that. Join me and Mega Doomer in some conversations down there. It's always a fun time. And I hope you have a good night.